Hey, and welcome back to another 3D how-to video in Blender. Now to continue our series in our 3D fantasy RPG game, we're gonna create something really simple. We're gonna make a coin pouch that could either be found in a treasure chest or anywhere else around the game world. So go ahead and open up Blender and we'll jump right in. So the first thing that we wanna do is delete the default cube that it gives us, and instead we're gonna add a cylinder. So go ahead to add, mesh, and cylinder. And before clicking anything else in the workspace, make sure that you change the vertices to 12. 32 is a little bit too high. We want to maintain that low poly look that the rest of our models in our 3D fantasy game have. So let's just go ahead and move that up to grid level and go right ahead into edit mode to start manipulating our shape. Now the first thing that we're going to do to our cylinder is add some loop cuts. And you can find the loop cut tool over on the tool shelf on the left. Over here you'll see loop cut. And we're gonna add about four to our cylinder. This will give us about six total, which includes the four that we just added and the bottom and the top. So to start manipulating these edges that we just made, go ahead to the bottom and click on edge select. And to select a whole edge around the cylinder, hold down alt and right click and you'll select a whole edge loop. So to create the general shape of our coin pouch, we're gonna use S for scale on the keyboard, and we're just gonna move that away from the center of the cylinder. Okay. Now let's just keep doing that to the rest of these edges until we get kind of a semi-spherical coin pouch shape. Okay, I think that's a pretty good general shape for our coin pouch. So the next thing that we wanna do is make sure that this is going to be an empty container or a vessel to put our coins in. And so to do that, we need to delete the top face of our object. Make sure that face select is selected. And with the top face of our object selected, hit delete on the keyboard, and we're gonna delete faces. So you can see that it now creates an empty shell of our coin pouch. But the problem is, is the wall thickness is virtually zero. We wanna create an actual thickness of our coin pouch so that it looks like it's actually made out of a material like leather. So to do that, we're gonna use a solidify modifier. So over on the right hand side, you'll see an icon that looks like a wrench under the, uh, the design tree. So click on that, click add modifier and solidify. And so you can see that it already gives it a default thickness. Now the, to change the thickness to what we want, we can go over to the right hand side in the options here, and we're gonna type in 0.1 into the thickness input. There we go, that looks pretty good. That looks like an actual thick piece of leather. Okay. Now right now as it is, it looks pretty good, but it also kind of looks like a glass bottle or a clay pot or something like that. And the reason that is because it has a completely circular top to it, a completely circular uh, top rim. And we don't really want that. If you look at a leather pouch, it kind of has like a flared top to it. So we're gonna go ahead and manipulate some of these edges and vertices to give it that look. So let's start with the edges. Making sure that edge select is selected, Let's just go ahead and start moving these edges away from the center. Okay. And just go ahead and do that to a bunch of edges around the top. Okay, that doesn't look too bad so far. Let's go ahead and start manipulating the vertices around the top as well. So with vertices select selected down at the bottom here, let's start clicking these vertices in between the edges that we just moved and let's just go ahead and move them around until it's the way that we want. So with vertices select selected at the bottom here, let's go ahead and start selecting the vertices in between the edges that we just moved and move them around until it has the look that we want. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think we're done editing the actual pouch here now and we can move on to other objects. So let's go ahead into object mode. And before we do anything else, let's go ahead and make sure that the name of the object is changed so that we know what we're clicking on and selecting. So let's change this to coin pouch. There we go. And we can now add some color to it as well. So over on the right hand side here, kind of on the same bar as the modifying tool, we can click uh, material. The icon kind of looks like a shaded sphere and click new. And under right here where you see diffuse, we can select this white bar and select a color that we want. And we want to make it kind of a light brown, so we'll go into orange and change the shade there. There we go, that looks pretty good. Okay, so the next thing that we want to create is the strap that goes around the neck of the pouch here, which could either be a cord or just a strip of material. 
And we're going to keep that nice and simple and import a torus into our model. So go down to add, mesh, and torus. And it places it over here for some reason. So let's go ahead and in location on the left hand side, before we touch anything else in the workspace, we're going to enter zero into the x and the y coordinates. Okay. And we could also change this as well to put it in the general location. And let's just move it right up there. There we go. Let's actually expand this up a little bit so we can see what we're looking at here. Okay, so the next thing that we want to change is the major segments. We want this to be 12 to uh, match the low poly kind of resolution of the rest of our model. Okay, so the next thing is the size. And we can change the size of this torus by changing the major and the minor radiuses that you see right here. So let's just start messing with those until it's the right uh, size and shape that we want. We can change the minor radius to make it thinner, and we can change the major radius to make it uh, make the inner circle smaller. Okay, we might need to move it up a little bit. So let's go up to the uh, the Z location, move that up. How does that look? That actually looks pretty good. I think that's good right there. So we didn't even have to go into edit mode for this. So let's actually stay in object mode. Over in the uh, design tree, we can change the name to chord or tie or fabric or whatever you want. And under materials, let's go to new and let's change this to kind of a lighter dark gray color. There we go, that looks pretty good. Okay, so the next thing that we wanna do is create a coin that will go in our coin pouch. So we only have to create one coin and then duplicate that inside the coin pouch. So let's go ahead and start making the coin. We're gonna go to add mesh and we're gonna use a cylinder as our starting shape here. Let's go ahead into edit mode. And with the whole object selected, we can hit S on the keyboard to scale it to the radius that we want. And we want it to be about that big. All right, that looks pretty good. And with the top face selected, we can actually move that down a little bit to give us the actual thickness of the coin that we want. And there we go, that looks pretty good. So we technically could just leave it like this, give it a color and start putting it into our coin pouch. But I wanna add a little bit more detail. I wanna make it look like there's a thick rim around the coin. So to do that, we're gonna use a tool called Inset Face. So with the top face selected, we can go to Mesh, Faces, and up here you'll see Inset Face. And we could do this or we could just hit I on the keyboard. And I like to use the hotkeys when I can. So with the top face selected, hit I on the keyboard and you see that it starts to inset the face a given distance away from the outer perimeter. And because we're gonna be doing the top and the bottom face of the coin, I wanna keep it uniform, so I'm just gonna type in a number um, and let's see what 0.1 looks like. Okay, that looks pretty good. While we're at it, let's do the same thing to the bottom. Click on the bottom face, hit I on the keyboard, and we're gonna make that 0.1. There we go, that looks pretty good. Okay. So when we give this a color, it's not actually gonna show up as a rim at all. So let's extrude the inner face down so it's a little bit deeper than the outside of the coin. So to do that with the center face selected, hit E on the keyboard, and you'll see that it already starts moving it along the Z axis. We want it to be deeper than the outer rim of the coin. So let's type in uh, 0 0.01 on the keyboard. You see that it starts extruding away from the coin, so that means that we just need to make it negative instead of positive. So if we type in negative 0.1, or that's actually way too much, it was 0 0.01, wasn't it? Yeah, so negative 0.01, negative 0 0.01, there we go, that looks good. And let's do the same thing to the bottom. With face select selected, hit E on the keyboard and type in negative 0 0.01, there we go. Okay, so we have our first coin created. So to change the color, let's go ahead and exit edit mode into object mode. And we're gonna click on the material setting right here, click new, and we're just gonna make this a gold color. There we go, that looks pretty good. Got pretty lucky there with the first color. So now with that done, let's go ahead and move it into the coin pouch. And we can do that by just selecting it and moving it with the uh, origin arrows. So now is actually probably a pretty good time to start talking about the different views of our uh, workspace here. 
I personally find it difficult to move objects around in perspective mode, which you can tell we are in right now by looking at the top left of the workspace. It says user perspective. We can change that by going down to view and toggling between view perspective and orthographic. It may not seem like a huge difference to some people, but once you start modeling, you'll see that sometimes uh, you'll prefer different perspectives depending on what you're doing. And so right now, I just like being in orthographic mode. Let's actually scale this coin up a little bit. There we go. And we can just start uh, duplicating this coin and moving them around to make it look like there's a pile of coins in the actual coin pouch. So to duplicate this coin uh, with the object selected, we can hold down shift and click D on the keyboard. And once you move the mouse, it'll already start uh, letting you place it somewhere else. So let's just move it right here. So with that first coin duplicated, go ahead and duplicate some more and move them around the pouch until it looks the way you want. Now because coins don't naturally lay flat inside of a coin pouch, it'll probably be a good idea to move these so that they look more natural. And we can do that by using the rotate tool. With an object selected, you can click R on the keyboard and it'll start rotating it around an arbitrary axis. You can actually change the axis it's rotating around by clicking uh, on the keyboard, either X, Y, or Z. So let's, with Z, it's just kind of spinning the coin a little bit. And with X, it's moving it around there. That looks pretty good, actually. Okay, and so with that, go ahead and add some more coins. All right, I'm pretty pleased with that. That looks pretty good. I know this is extremely low detail and simple, but it gives a really good grasp of all the tools without going into extreme detail. So go ahead and give this one a try, and as always, make it completely your own. And also, make sure to tweet me a picture of your final model so we can share it with the community. If you have any questions or recommendations for future videos, please make sure you leave them down in a comment. If you wanna see more videos in the future, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.